Welcome back everyone to my Halfling campaign. You're going to witness some really interesting battles coming up very soon. I just fried up some eggs and now I'm ready for Carnage and Hot Pod. So get ready for that and I do believe our next campaign will probably be a Blood Knight campaign. There's so many that I will be covering, especially because I've not played Grimhammer in a very long time outside of our current campaign, so there will be many new campaigns coming up. And each one should be less than 20 parts, meaning that we should be doing like 2-3 to three new campaigns every single month. I just wanted to let you know that. And as a reminder, don't forget to leave a like down below, a comment, and even sub if you have not done so already. Beyond all of that, I do have a Dogs of War Discord community where you can talk to me, ask me anything. Like, don't be worried. Jump into any conversation that you want to. I'm a pretty friendly dude. And let's see. I have an RPG channel where pretty soon I'll be, I'll be playing The Witcher 1 and maybe Fallout 1 and a few other older games. But when newer games come out, like Cyberpunk and whatever else i'll be touching up on those too but eventually this year i want to try to get through all of the fallout games i think that would be a lot of fun all right let's get to it welcome back everyone to our halfling campaign it's time to probably kill a few more chaos boys they're out there i gotta get them samwise warfoot has been wandering around getting treasure because there are no enemies to fight just yet now there's got to be more around here. Let me have a look around the map real quick. No, I think we're okay. Let's head back on up to the northeast. Yes. Well, there's two over here actually. Yeah, hi Chef Gregor Shitsayer. You know what to do, buddy. There we go. Is it a big army? No, it's not a big army, so we don't need to worry about fighting all of them like that. That is not required. We'll take their gold because it's what I always do. The wealthy caravan, more experience yes. from my group. Cool. We can move back now. Oh, well, there's actually more treasure up there too. Oh, here they come. Sparta talk. Kislevov. <laughs> what a great name. Kislevov. I like that. All right, Renard. We're going to have you move over to the east. You would be fighting Azhag. Ooh, could you win that battle? I don't rightly know. Maybe. We can try. Let's try, I suppose. And we can go over to Barag Dawas Bag because we've got to fight two factions. Though your faction or your army doesn't really have a great format. I don't like that. I feel like you could easily be defeated. But hey, I'm out there to play a dangerous game. That's what I'm all about now. So that's what we're going to do. Over here is a Grand Altar of Ulrich. Cool. I'll grab that. 9,000 gold. Nice army ability faction wide if I so want it. And I do want it. All right, what else do I want out here? Another Wizard's Conclave, 7,500 gold. I'm just spending the big freaking money now. All right, what's over here now? Another gold smelter. Cool, I'll take that. I own, what, three? We're shitting out gold because it's what we do. We're halflings. We've got a dietary problem. Can't help it. Okay, cool to back bug. Come on down, buddy. Let's go. Yeah, after we finish either Egil or our halfling campaign, we will move on to probably the Blood Dragons or something. And then I'll do like orcs and who knows what else. I know I want to do another chaos one, but I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. I did Norska, now I'm doing halfling, so I'll probably like alternate between good and evil. Or, you know, evil and gray. Well, shit. Let's go fight Azhag. It is now time for our battle to begin. Check it out. It's not going to be easy for me. There's a lot of green skins over here that I've got to watch out for. I'm actually pretty nervous about how it's going to play out. We've got so many black orcs, man. They're just everywhere, and I'm using my artillery to do what damage I'm able to, but there's only so much that we're able to do before they land on my front lines. I mean, they're very close already. They've got Azhag at a very high level, so I will try to get rid of him as quickly and easily as I'm able to. Man, check out those direct shots. Those are awesome to just even look at. I mean, just looking at what I'm seeing, it's really cool. All right, so what are we going to do about old Azyaz? Well, he's got a decent amount of health. His armor isn't too high, thankfully. He's still a wizard, but 714 weapon strength. He could easily destroy anyone. So I'm going to have my leader, my pistoliers, and my free company soldiers shoot at him. I'll use my wizard over here to net him down and we'll focus fire on him, but that will take away a lot of my time from other enemies. Like, a good banishment would weaken a lot more of these infantry units. And if they have any immortals here, I'm in more trouble. So here we go right now. We're going to consolidate what we can. But whenever you do that and you're not able to beat them quickly, it takes a long time for you to get other things done. Okay, there's some damage, but here comes all the charges now. All of the very, very scary charges. Please, no friendly fire. I don't need any friendly fire, thank you. The halflings are moving in. 
We're already losing some of them. There is Renard fighting his battle. Everyone is doing what they're able to. The tree kin are holding. The tree men or tree man he's moving into. The left flank has a series of enemies that we need to be concerned about. Skulkers, we've got a lot of boar boys, even more black orcs, two groups of black orcs. And you can see how in one attack he nearly wiped out Gregor. And we're chasing around Azhag right now. He's out of control, thankfully. So we're just going to chase him around as we kill him. Though these freaking goblin wolf archers, if they're allowed to sustain their fire, will do a lot of damage. Look at what we have to fight right now. Pretty much like nothing but black orcs. Eight kills already. That will only go up. 12 kills now. Everyone is trying to move in. I've killed a lot of archers, but they're still able to get a lot of kills. And again, if you just allow them to hit for a prolonged period of time, they'll keep on getting kills. I'm trying to use my catapult to hit whatever I'm able to over here, like these war boy biggins. Ooh, a spirit leech upgraded. Not a fan. Yeah, our hunter, he's trying to do his best right now in placing any damage he's able to, but it's still a challenge. But we nearly have Azhag. We're at least about to break him. I just wanted to get rid of their leader to where maybe I would have a chance. But Black Orcs have such high leadership that it might not even matter. Yeah, he's leaving now. We did break him. 30 kills only. I mean, 30 in a very vital location. Unfortunately, I didn't have my boys on guard mode, so they did charge up for a little bit. I was too busy just trying to manage my battle. I've got one tree man over here fighting a lot of Black Orcs. He won't be able to wipe them all out, but he's at least keeping them busy. 12 kills now. Just killing a few black works, don't mind him. But I do have my artillery helping out. There could be some friendly fire, but now they're at 51. And let's have a look. These boar boys, they're moving back right now, and they're just going to charge in. They're going to be such a pain to defeat because of how often they're able to move around. And I've got my very awesome group of Helmgart bowmen. Now, these guys are fucking amazing. They're cool looking, and they're amazing. Let them do what they can, right? Yeah, there we go. Huntsman General is still fighting. I used a Baronis Time Warp to buff up my units over here. We've got a finite amount of Wardens who are trying to hold back even Zombie Boys. And Zombie Boys are, again, meat shields, but they're a little bit tougher than your standard Zombie Group, at least from my experience. I would have to compare their stats to really find out. Free Company Militia is still attacking. We're trying to kill some more Black Orcs over here. I probably should have gone after those Blasted Spiders. They had 27 kills, but they had two groups of Boar Boy Biggins, so I couldn't really do that. And Azhag is back on his way, according to the minimap. All the while, my tree are just holding on. Not a lot of kills. They can't get a lot of kills. 83 kills by my Helmguard Bowmen. They're only going up. And over here, my Ogres, my Feastmaster Exiles are at 64 kills. We're about to crush a group of Black Orcs right now. I've got some tree cannon close by. Let's keep on looking around. We've got over here some more Free Company Militiamen shooting these blasted Black Orcs and killing them. They have more Skulkers moving back in. And let's have a look. We're now targeting good old Azzy, who is still very much here, going after Renard. Come on, someone killed him. Someone get rid of him because Renard is in a lot of trouble. He's being hit by arrows from his own team. That's a very deadly leader of theirs. Oh, and he's out of here. Nice work. Now I've got free company militiamen who are having to fight some zombie orcs, which again, as a concept, is just so cool. I would love to get a zombie variant for every single faction. In fact, I think that would add to the overall immersion of the undead to have that. That would be so cool, right? Different builds for all of your skeletons. Sure, a lot more detail, but that would really add to the versimilitude of your immersion of playing a vampire leader. All right, so free company militia holding on. 40 kills, still fighting some boar biggins. We got some, um, let's see over here, black orcs who are fighting what? A tree man and also wardens. Let's see here. Tree kin are also fighting black orcs who are now beginning to waver. We have so many zombie boys. Like, did they just come in or were they always here to begin with? Shit. So we were broken over here. My wardens were completely wiped out, I think, or at least broken away. And I wasn't really relocating my artillery, which is what I should have done early on. We have over 300 kills. If it wasn't for my artillery, I would be done for. Over here, I've got my pistoliers trying to fight these boar biggins, but I doubt they're going to be able to make it for much longer. They got a lot of kills, but in melee, they can't really strive and survive. So let's go have a look over here. I've broken a lot of them, but the problem is they love to come back. Gregor has 10 kills, but his support has been invaluable. We're still shooting some of these boar biggins. Charge in! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> Getting pretty hyped for this fight. Okay, over here are some Dreamin. who are also fighting some Black Orcs. 18 left in that group. Uh, oh, wow. Three groups total. A lot of them are pretty damaged. I got my Wardens too, and I think they're going to be sufficient to take them all on. Yep, look at that. Thank you, Dreamin. 25 kills. They attack so slowly that it's just not a lot of kills coming in. 
but again, they're just durable. Beastmaster Exiles are falling into some more Black Orcs. Let's see, what else do we have over here? Do I have any Immortals? Black Orcs are here. More of them. We've got... you right. Yeah, right here. 68 kills. They've been killing a lot. A lot. They've lost a few. So, what's happening over here? We're getting our Helmgard Bowmen, who have over 100 kills, to attack this group of Boar Biggins. Gregor is taking a lot of damage. I'm allowing him to stay here to help out. Because my Master Cooks are nearly done for. They have a Boss Protection, helping out with their melee defense and damage resistance as well. Okay. We have Orc Boy Boy Biggins at how many kills? That's, uh, let's see, 15. They have 25 kills. They have 15 left. My Free Company Militia should be able to hold one. I mean, they're shooting point blank. It's armor piercing point blank like that. Go on, shoot them. Get a few point blank shots. Good. They're broken now. And what we need to do, we need to probably move our artillery pretty soon. There we go. We're just attacking whoever is fleeing and trying to get away. That's more Boar Biggins. I'm still outnumbered. I'm dropping quickly. They're still around. I've got my Helmgard Bowman now charging into melee. They have 129 kills. Now they're having to find a bunch of other units, like Immortals and friends. My Flagellants are nearly wiped out. They have 37 kills, but they're unbreakable, so they will hold until the very last. My Cooks are nearly wiped out, too. There's very few of them left. One good charge could really destroy them. But Renard is still attacking everywhere he's able to. We've broken a lot over here, so we can finally move back. They still have over 700. I'm the one dropping more than they are. So now what am I going to do? I noticed that I couldn't really hit anything with my catapult. I was trying to. I was worried about friendly fire and everything else. And it looks like we have no way to win this fight. The Master Cooks are fighting some of these poor biggins. Give me your meat. I'm a damn cook and I'm a damn good one. Yeah. I'm gonna eat that later. More Black Orcs are just charging again. My Master Cooks are about to get wiped out. Time to move my catapult. That's what we're doing now. Gregor is moving over here. My tree man is moving over here too. That tree man's got to come help out right away. My Feastmaster Exiles are at 200 kills. They're very strong. They're having to fight against a bunch of lower tiered units. It's over here. Helmgard Bowman at 137 kills. So even in melee, they're actually doing all right. Good for them. Come on, Catapult. I need you to move. Because we've got some enemies to hit right over here. A big chunk of. I mean, look at that. For all the losses. They still have a lot. Zombie orcs. That's got to be unnerving. <laughs> What's wrong with you, you get? <laughs> Ew, uh. <laughs> Just zombie waz. All right, what's over here? Tree man, 49 kills. Catapult still can't hit. Free company militia charging in now. Gold chevron too, man. Renard's at 40 kills. You can see how he's not able to get a lot of kills. I mean, I find them to be okay. They're all right. It's my board big and getting chased after some wardens close by. A lot are broken. We're at how many now? We're in the 300s. They're in the 500s. Catapult is now back to moving. We're holding only because my tree can. If it wasn't for that, it would be over with. So there's one attack by Renard. We'll try to use another attack if we can. Just hit what you can, man. Gregor, 15 kills, used a little burning attack. Shim's burning gaze. Burning bolts. Burning missiles. Alright. So we're about to move on that hill. Then we're going to hit what we can. You can see how few that we have left now. We're at, how many now? 314, about to enter the 200 range. They're at 434. Come on. It's time. Can we do it? Will we do it? Is it possible? Can we win the battle? Can we change up the fates today? Because right now the fates are not on my side. Until we use Hot Pod, because Hot Pod is the answer to life. There we go. Devastating strikes, rending right through their ranks. Very few are going to remain after a few more barrages from our Hot Pod catapult. Bernard continues to attack. We've got Gregor close by. They're now finally beginning to break. The zombies are going away. We have won the battle. We have changed up everything, all because of a hot pod catapult. We went to over 400 kills now. We have 433 kills. That will only go up. We finally did it. It's over. Let's get out of here. Boy, that was a difficult battle. I lost a lot of my army. I'll need to go back to patch up. I actually need replenishment, so we're not going to take anything else. And you've gained Green Skinner, so your magic resistance is up by 25%.
your aura size up by 25% for defeating Azag. Okay, sure. Oh boy, I could actually use some help down here. I mean, these are high-leveled leaders, and that was a lot of black orcs. I'll need a lot more armor piercing to beat them. You can see why, if I didn't have Treekin, I would have lost that battle. Treekin were my last holding force. They don't deal a lot of damage, but they're not meant to. They're just meant to be there. They're, they're meant to stay there and keep my enemies preoccupied while the rest of us can try to survive and kill some people. That orc war will take time without my core armies. Yeah, they're the ones who can really deal some damage. My halflings are quite deadly as well. What now? Who's over here? Oh, you are? Okay. The Bray Herds are coming. Understood. I need you to move around, actually. You'll move around. You probably need to go back home. Could we actually go to our capital and... No, we can't actually make it there. I've been kicked out of my own capital. It's pretty messed up. Don't appreciate that very much. All right, let's get out of here for now, because we need these guys to go patch up. They are so beaten up. Gregor, you did your best, man. There was like nothing that you could have done there, man. I, you did a really good job, though. I'm very proud of you. I think I want to give you... Hold on. Banishment, you have that. I've given you a lot of upgrades. Shim's Burning Gaze, another upgrade for that. It didn't do a lot of damage, but it's a cheap little spell to throw at them. All right, I should have blocked one army. That's a failure. That's a failure! That's a more. All right. It's weighed up right at that little pass I like, which is right over here. It's a great little choke point. We're going to allow our good buddy, the High Chef, to just chill out over there. And while we do that, we can have our other army do whatever, really. I could even send them elsewhere. It's a backup army. Samwise is very good, but, you know, he's going to let the High Chef do some shit saying. It's like if you want to get to the boss fight, that's where you need to go. A warrior priest probably would have helped out a lot in that fight. The buffs would have been beautiful. So we'll come back and continue to build things up a little bit. I think I do want to, let's see, have something to recruit with down here, though. Yeah, I'm going to change up my buildings a little bit just because I want some stuff to help me out. All right. We have plenty of public order. I don't need another shop. Yeah, I'm just going to change things up a little bit. That way I can recruit some grenade launchers. I'm recruiting what does the Emperor some of them over here. I'll probably just end up picking up more Treekin for his army because he's only level one, so we really need him to be on his best behavior. Yeah, decreasing enemy melee attack sounds good. And that's really all that I have for you, pal. Yeah. That's all I have for you. Kill the heretics. Agreed. I'm gonna upgrade that. Livery. I've been saying livery, but someone corrected me. Thank you for correcting me because for some reason I thought it was livery, but livery. I think I used to say livery, then someone corrected me, so I had to go double check, and you were right, so. <laughs> no, I always try to modify pronunciations to be closer. Now, keep in mind, like, if it's another part of the world where it's not really akin to American English, I'm going to say it with a American accent, and that will be its own challenge, but I always try to get as close as I can. Like, in Three Kingdoms, I got as close as I could with various names. It's just what I like to do. Where Zag keeps leveling up. You can see the inherent challenge here. These orcs are bulky. They've got a lot of green skins. I mean, they have... Oh, hello. Kalidor, Krace. We've encountered them for the first time. How's it going, boys? Well, let's mate. I just said let's mate. <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't looking at what I was doing. I don't know, man. Let's wait a minute and see what the Warriors of Chaos are going to do. That's what happens when you play a degenerate race like the Halflings, man. All you think about are, you know, alcohol binges, food feasting, and orgies. I don't know. Personally, I think Malal made the Halflings, but I have no backing on that. It's just a hunch. Uh, let's see. If I do a tax increase, public order goes down. It's only a 5% increase on taxes. Would that really be huge? We could try it for fun. Oh, actually, that's pretty substantial at my size. Here comes another Doom Tide, so maybe I will need that other army. I shouldn't underestimate anyone. Now, Albert, I hate your fucking army, and I want to bring you back to go recruit some new units. I think it's shit, and you should go home. And I'll also probably feel bad for it. He's like, but you gave me that army. Ah, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I don't want to hear that. All right, so he'll come join you guys. 
you need a more solid front line. It's because I put all my ogres in one group, so I think that's where the problem is. Ogres are like my big backup unit, and without them, I'm done for as a faction. I can't do shit. All right, what's over here? I think Kislev is like destroying everything just fine. It's pretty funny while I'm continuing to fight some other factions. I could move up and go fight them. I guess that is true. I'm going to miss my little choke point, though. Huh, I wonder if there's another one. That's why I wanted them to lose. I don't know why they're doing so well in auto-resolving. Like, what is up with that? They're so damn good at it. Well, whatever. We could go fight Norska. Ugh. Whoever wants to fight Norska, though. Not me. What's over here? The Black Pit? There's some hostile factions out there. Wait, wait. They have the Black Pit and they have Wrecker's Point. I could go out there and help out. If the war isn't too bad, if the Ever Chosen isn't here. You know what? Let's go do it. Let's go help out over in the West. I'm here to help out the Empire where I can. It's what I do. We're gods of war. Alright, I'm going to go take that stables for one. And over here, I will build our hot pot catapult. That will give you most of my recruitment needs. And I should have done that a long time ago, but I was being stubborn. I need to stop doing that shit. I always try to maximize my income, but sometimes you just got to... Do your thing, man. You just got to let it go. No, I've really enjoyed everything that we've been doing on the channel. I cannot wait to play through some of my older RPGs on my RPG channel and the newer ones too, of course. I just like all the variety. It's a lot of fun for me. And the Greenskins are pushing towards the Pillars of Grungni or maybe even Carl Franz's forces over there. Yeah, Reichlin didn't do well. Evidently, the Greenskins are doing better in auto-resolving against the Empire. We've encountered Lothar now. Hochlin, what do you want? Hochlin! I'm gonna call you Hochlin. If it's Bechafen, then maybe it's Hochlin? I don't know. Someone told me it was with a K sound, but... Again, I don't know. I'm just going off of people's input. I'm sure some people can verify now after hearing me talk a little bit. I'm also in the process of drinking my coffee, so if I'm a little bit more loopy than usual, you know why. Woke up, began to record, kind of crazy. It's just a state of being. All right. So, you'll move over here now. Colt, come on down. Yeah, it is a time to heal up. Okay, so we did lose our master cooks. I wish we had a bigger cap for them. We do not. Okay, press ganged thieves. No, thank you. What do I want to get rid of? Like, is there anything here? I've got Wardens already, so I'm not worried about that. I think I just want... Or Treekin. Yeah, I mean, I can't really think of anything else right now. My Wardens actually are not fulfilling their roles very well, but I do like my Cooks. The Great Eagles actually would be a great help. They're also very strong. Okay, Peter. Rank 2. I'm going to give you Route Marcher. Then I'll give you Reassuring Presence. Because, again, it's what we do. I am going to get rid of the two Dryads, though. I don't feel like they have any place in my army. They're way too lightly armored. And you know what those damn orcs will do to them. I don't want to talk about it. It's actually illegal, so I'm not going to talk about it. That's how nasty they are. Okay, so, Albert, you need to come back, too. You're nothing right now. Let's have a quick look around. Oh, yeah. Here comes our buddies. No, that battle is actually one of the hardest ones I've had to fight in a very long time. I really thought I was going to lose it. It's only when I repositioned my catapult that we won it. If it wasn't for that, I think, actually, we probably would have lost that battle. It's right when I repositioned and we were able to hit right into their side. In the future, I'll be sure. I'm not actually used to being able to reposition my catapult. I was so scared of their poor boys, you know, being able to reach it and destroy it, but it worked out. Okay, so you're going after Mount Squighorn. The Skaven are close by. Maybe they'll even fight them. That would be great, actually, for me if they would fight the Skaven and not me. Welcome Hell, man, I'd even ally the Skaven if they wanted to go save that for me. I don't give a shit. I'm a halfling. A customer is a customer. Of course, they've got to use the back door. I will not serve them in my abodes. In my restaurants. It just won't happen. I don't want rat shit in my restaurants, but if they want to, like, eat out the dump, man. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Okay. Let's see here. That's under attack. We're still moving our good buddy, Samwise. He's traveling off to go destroy whatever greenskins he's able to find. Doesn't matter where they're at. He's coming for them. He's like, swiggity swooty, I'm coming for that orc booty. 
All right, no real issues over here. I could block one of you. Nah. Let's go. Kislev is still holding. They don't even really need me. I could just like leave them for now and go do other things. Do we have other things to do? That's a good question. I don't think we do have other things to do right now other than potentially selling out to the west. There are no other armies for me to fight. Huh. There's treasure over there, so I'm going to go pick that up instead. We will always need to be doing something, though. We can't just, like, lollygag about. No lollygagging. See? Can't do that. All right, so we have tree kin. What if I grabbed more tree kin? What if I doubled up on my tree men, actually? Yeah, let's just do that, man. Let's just get kind of, like, crazy with it and get as many tree kin, tree men that we can get. All right. Let's look in chest. All right. Upkeep is down for a little bit. I doubt you can encamp. Nope. But you can recruit. Cool. All right, buddy. So you know what you need. Well, you have two tree men. I'm going to give you tree kin. And that'll do it. I could awaken another one of you. That would give me what? Flaming attacks for all characters. So now all of my armies have a chance for flaming nice? attacks, right? Or is it just all of my characters? Renard? Okay. All of my characters. I was hoping for my armies, but that's actually oh, still pretty general. cool. All of my leaders now can use flaming attacks. They don't even need magical blades. I'd love some more generic quest battles that would fit like a type of leader. Like Imperial leaders can do this or whatever and not just legendary lords. I don't know. That would add some more variety to quest battles in my view and I think that would be pretty cool. So I've got a lot of you moving back now. We will get a lot more tree kin. I'm pretty much out of ogres and I will be. Oh, Carl's close by. Oh shit, he's got the Knights of the White Wolf too. Nice. I think I want a lot of outriders. Anyway, let's end our turn. No, it's just because my wardens alone can't hold the lines and I've put all my ogres into one army. I should have divided them, but they're my mightiest forces, so I'm going to keep them like that. These are only supportive ones, and once all three move down, we can probably begin to roll on the orcs a little bit more. Oh, what's up? Oh, shit. They're, they're going to help me? No, I might lose the battle, though, if I fight it out, but just because we're fighting with allies, I kind of want to do it. Yeah, man, let's do it. It should be fun to watch. Here's another battle where we have our allies moving in. I love whenever they help out. They've got one general of the Empire over here. They've got a small pocket of defenders way over here. Come on, don't move. Just defend. They've got an alt dwarf. Let's see. Company of Honor. You've already used your Grand Shield of Faith. Bunch of idiots. Ah, pretty snazzy. Not a huge fan of that blue, but pretty snazzy. They've already lost some already due to enemy artillery attacks. Oh man, you could get some serious damage in there if you just target it like right in the middle. They do have a hammer of Gork. Oh shit. It's a very powerful rock lobber. They already have 10 kills. They've got over here Grutter, a black orc big boss. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of really cool leaders for the greenskins. There's a lot of variations that you could have for them. For sure. Check that out. Ooh, some of that nasty Gork Mork juice flying on over. We do have a steam tank they have. We've got some great swords moving in. I'm moving in my own army. Now keep in mind, I've got a lot of hot pot catapults. So I'm about to rain down some hot pot glory upon them. How many orcs? 1700 orcs, two hot pots. It's a new pornographic film that I will not be spreading willingly. But I will be selling it willingly. All right. They have a captain too. Some pretty tough guys. And a Arch Lector. They're charging in, though. You can see how their numbers are finite. They are limited in what they're able to do. They'll probably break pretty fast. I don't know. Their artillery's still going. There's a lot, a lot of green skins over here. Nothing is more gratifying than just watching a lot of artillery unleash upon your foes. 27 kills only. I mean, again, if they were targeting, like, lower armored foes, they would do a great job. But here comes my own catapult right now. I wanted to make sure that we hit whatever we could that was charging at us. So here we go. Here comes down the damn broth. We'll hit everything we can. There may be some friendly fire, but I have a feeling it will work out for us. Oh, man. There's just so many that we're able to shoot at. Look at that shit. <laughs> the orcs are going flying. They're like, damn, it's delicious, but also painful. I want to eat it, but I also want to scream. Anyway, here comes some more biggins. They have magical attacks. I don't like that. 
I'll send in some units like Master Cooks and other Wardens to help out. They'll all focus on that one group alone. That was a big chunk of their health taken away. That should begin to drop them just a little bit. They have Great Swords still very much close by. That Steam Tank has 35 kills. That Hellstorm Rocket Battery only 27. Now they're leaving. And we're just going to target what we can. A Company of Honor has 28 kills. They're trying to hold on. That's a legendary unit. So what am I going to do? Focus on a little bit of friendly fire and kill some black orcs. Nice work, everyone. Here comes another series of attacks. I mean, those are some burning damn bolts, and they do a damn good job. All right, so they brought in their own artillery. That's really cool. Let's go have a look at what that's like. That range is pretty incredible, too. Wow. 475, yeah. Oh, my God. 70 kills now? Holy shit. So they are just trucking through a lot of these lower armored units like I said they could be doing oh no wrong target hit over here buddy how's your captain I don't know if only they were aiming over here yeah yeah there we go much better hit these orcs we can do it together if we use all of our collective artillery we can win this now if my artillery comes in it's definitely over and they are coming in right now we're hitting a few other targets as well but just check out the battlefield we're hitting everything close by. I sent those units to go handle those biggins. It seems to be working out. Sure, some of you might be killed in the process, but you are expendable. Oh, check out that last attack. Suit fire. It rains upon thee. And now they're breaking. Their two leaders are still very much alive. That's awesome. So we'll just continue sending in artillery strikes at them. Their Arch Elector has 59 kills. Not bad. Are Arch Electors better in Grimhammer? Thankfully. I love Warrior Priests and also Arch Electors, and I feel like in vanilla, they're just so fucking weak. Their armor is a little bit illogical, too. Sure, they don't wear a helmet, but if you look at like what they're wearing on their torsos, definitely more than a damn swordsman. Again, friendly fire, but it's all okay. Youch. Okay, so the battle's pretty much over, I think. We just have a few more attacks to stage. We've got 700 left. Plenty of allies left. What is that called? Effigy of the Git? Interesting. Is it like a little spirit leech or something? Huh. Some equivalent of? I don't know. The Savage Giant is still around, fighting some great swords. I stopped attacking over there to let them fight. Here's Warzag. And I'm still just going to strike over here, destroying what's left of that group of greenskins. Partially because it makes me laugh that I'm able to kill them with hot pot. And it's also a visual spectacle. Yeah, now we can hit other things if we want to. That same tank has 57 kills. They brought in some good elite stuff, so it's certainly beneficial. And over here, we're still chasing that group. I mean, you can see the damage that was dealt to me by all these blasted charging units. They have three kills. You have one kill or something heavy. Was it friendly fire? I have no idea. I'm not going to overthink it. Things happen, man. Oh, you still have your hammer of Gork. 85 kills. Hey, not bad. Not bad until it's all gone. Dude. We have ruptured them it's over we won the battle now we can get out of here good work everyone later orcs that was actually a really fun battle i love fighting with allies i remember doing it in medieval 2 quite a bit and i always loved it i think because there's like so many other places to go to and maneuver around you don't really get that too much in warhammer 2 but it's always a fucking delight even if i lose it's just fun to have allies there fighting with you i would love to have it more often just to have that little blue force show up and help me out I mean, they were a great distraction. <laughs> we use them as fodder, which is rude, sure, but it was effective, right? My catapults were just unleashing hell upon them, and it was a beautiful, beautiful sight. What's up, man? What do you want? Military lights? Fuck you. Get out of here. Get out of my room. Don't even look at me. <laughs> All right, what about... No, 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 no. Leave me alone. All of you want to ally. I know, I know. There's too much of me to go around, but I don't want to give it up. It's me. It's me we're talking about here. Fancy pants. All right. Let's wait a minute. Lamont Dow is still alive. Wow, nice. Okay, that was just a bunch of needless information for me. 
All right, so I've got my rangers. I don't think they're gonna be any good, but I will try them out. I've got way too many press ganged thieves. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. That was just a stupid idea, what like just completely, profoundly fucking stupid. Now what I could use could be three of those for sure. I'm gonna take that instead. Um, got way too many range units. I want to get rid of those as well. I want four total, I think. Yeah, just take four hot pot catapults, man. Just do that. And then I'm probably going to get some other units later. Like tree can help me hold the line. Let's say, what if I got like, hmm, got that many range. Yeah, I'm going to get quite a few tree can because he needs some help holding the line. Whereas you, Renard will be ready in one more turn. You'll be ready in one more turn as well. Yeah, most of you are looking pretty good. That's a livery. Good. Take that. And now we can keep on moving with our main army. We will make it over to the Black Pit pretty darn soon. If they're not going to do it, I'll do it for them. Fuck them. I'll take care of that for you, balls. All right. We got Boris Van Stroll. Oh, shit. There's another little army. Let kids love take care of it. We haven't seen any big waves come by. I don't remember how many waves you've got to destroy. I'm actually cool with it. It's kind of nice to not have to wipe their ass. I usually have to. We're at turn 118. It's been a pretty fascinating campaign in my view, though. Just with all the variety, all the different things I've been fighting. If I did choose to fight the Empire, that would certainly be fascinating. It would be a slog for a bit. But I think with all of my artillery and all of my unit types, we could definitely like march right through them. Where Zag is out there, he took a lot of damage. They beat him too. Maybe that's like really the issue and why evil is losing so much in the formula. A lot of resolving. They're just not doing very well. Oh God, someone just shared a picture of Triss from Witcher with the face of Vesemir and he called him Trismir. Oh God, I didn't need to see that. I like my redheads, man. Come on. Kislev, I will join you. Oh, look at who's coming after Kappelberg. I had a feeling they were right by me. Of course, they would declare war. That was a trap, but I wasn't going to say no. All right, let's go help out at Kappelberg. I'm just going to march on over, I think, to try to get really close to them. If they want to come attack me like that. Oh, shit, level 20. That's a big difference. A mark of Zinch, too. Damn. Oh, well. Okay, so we are here. I will need to build up my towers. That won't help. That won't make any difference. But points are trying. Maybe that's why they're not doing too well. I don't know. All right, what else can I get right now? A dilemma. Actually, I'm going to think about it. Okay, we'll come over here now. All right, so you've got one more turn. I'm just going to give you like a crazy amount of catapults. You might die because of it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care that much. No, I do care for you, man. I'm just busy. I'm just busy. All right, you're only level two. I don't know how that'll go. Yeah, all right. We'll choose it. We can probably get some, um, like one thing to help out our military capabilities. Okay, let's have a look over your favor. Ulrich? No. Tail? Maybe. Offering to Sigmar? No. These are all kind of shitty, honestly. Well, that would let me get another hero. I'll get offerings to Sigmar. Okay, Renard, what do you need, my friend? I shall give to you. Hmm, good question, good question. You could use a few more ranged abilities. That's for damn well sure. Boris, how's it going? Oh, they did burn down. That army actually burned down Volksgrad. That's okay. Nice work. You've got Finn Beasts again. River Trolls. A Chaos Zoat. Oh, interesting. What does the Emperor All right. I think we're about ready. Well, Boris, I'm going to give you... Ooh, summon a unit of Witch Hunters. I didn't know you had that. Oh, that's really cool. I'm going to give you Immortality, just in case. I need to freaking use those. If they're permanent, that would be sweet. At least for the battlefield, if they're permanent for that duration of the battle, that would be really, really cool. But anyway... I'm finally reforming my armies. Black Crag is looking pretty weak now. I think they have finally been broken. I mean, look at that. Even the Empire is pushing down. It's crazy. I just see their armies like pop out of nowhere with full stacks. No, fighting them would be a complete drag. That would take way too long. It's more so because you can't really choke point them very well. The Empire has control of all of the choke points. But if you had like more choke points where you could like just really keep them still, that would be great. All right, let's go in or still not steal. Let's go fight the Leafcutter's tribe. That's another big fight. Here's another fight. 
They've got a reinforcing army on the way, and here I am, just waiting for them to get to me. Night Goblin Archers. We're looking at Orc Boys. We've got what else over here? Goblin Wolf Rider Archers. Orc Boar Boy Biggins and a Goblin Great Shaman. Here's their reinforcing army. Let's have a look at what they might be bringing in. A lot of Black Orcs. Holy shit. That is a lot of Black Orcs. Damn. How many do you have? Okay. Spider Riders too. That is a pretty substantial army. There goes my artillery. Here's my own formation. I've got ogres right over here on the left-hand side. Tree kid on the right-hand side. A tree man kind of out there on his own on the left. And I've got some reserve units. You'll watch me kind of play a nice little dance as I send out certain units to fight certain targets. It's all just part of my goal to maintain my lines and to make sure that we subjugate our enemies in any way possible. There we go. There's another attack. We did pretty well. Let's take them on. All right. Orc boys, how's it going? Think it's going okay. Now we have great eagles charging right in, going after goblin wolf rider archers. They're going to charge in, but they're going to be blunted once they get up that hill. I've sent out two units to go after their goblin wolf riders. They're not nearly as powerful. I've got great eagles chasing after those other archers because I hate dealing with them. It's a pretty weak first wave. So if we could just beat them, that would be fine. My catapult has, I mean, it's a Grand Cauldron Hot Pot catapult, so it's stronger than any of my other catapults. 49 kills right now. That'll change eventually. Let's uh have a little look around here. See what's going on. Yeah, so we're fighting over here with Pistoliers too, going after that one group of archers. We've got some archers as well that I need to probably hit. There is more of them. Yeah, these archers have got to go if we want to make sure that we're not taking too many losses. They are charging uphill. I've got smaller groups of entities that are holding the front lines, and it's working out very well for me, especially with all of my potential friendly damaging attacks like that. See, that was a direct one on the back of my damn ogres, which dealt a big chunk of their health. So I've got to be so mindful of what I use and how I use it. We're breaking a lot of what they have already. Sticky Sabbath, that won't even help you. Not very much. Missileers are still attacking. Oh, here come some enemies. Were they caught by? I think they were caught by at least like one unit or something. Of my ogres, maybe. So here comes wave number two. We've broken that group of archers, but I wanted to make sure they left the map. I get so annoyed whenever they stay on the map, so I've just been trying to go after them where I can. Now we've got our catapult hitting some black orcs who are charging. Moving. We'll be moving a little bit slower for a small period of time. That's what I need. Incinerating strikes. To destroy what they have. Okay, let's keep on looking. They've used over here a gobbo net on me. It's only temporary, but hey, it does stop you for a period of time. My tree can now moving in. I'm sitting in a lot of units. Here comes a pit of shades. I'll be using a pendulum, like, almost right after. That'll get some nice kills and at least weaken them. You can see that now. A lot have either been weakened or broken or they're wavering. Great way to destroy a lot of them. So over here, we have a lot of black orcs. I can use my attack right through there just to deal some more damage to them. My great eagles are going after some boar biggins. Yeah, those archers are back like I thought they would be. And let's see. 125 kills. Here comes our pendulum right now. So not a lot of kills, but a big chunk of health is now missing. My left flank has what over here? Wardens and also my tree man helping out. They're fighting orc biggins and other units. Let's see. Catapult is still going after their ranged units. So that's really what I want to do. I've got wardens helping out my tree kin. And as long as we're kind of all working together, it works out fine. Even my ogres are getting help, too. The trolls are around. I've been trying to set my master cooks after them because of their anti-large specialty. I've got my Warfoot's band at 16 kills, no deaths, charging in after another target. Again, our goal is just to try to break down those blasted trolls with any anti-large stuff that we have. My ogres are now moving in. We're still hitting any ranged units that are moving around. So it's been a pretty sweet battle for us. We've got 1,700. Oh, less than coming at us now. Now what? How now, brown cow? Tree man's at 27 kills. I mean, we've never seen the tree man get like a ton of kills, but that's not the point of it. It's never been the point of it. All right, so now we're attacking some orc arrow boys. Nice work. Tree can are at 15. We've got ogres over here, 200. We've got trolls as well, also charging in. There's another attack right through my units, maybe some of their own units. Ooh, there's night goblin. Spinners, those fanatics are nasty. There's actually some night goblin stuff they haven't added in yet that they really should. That would be really cool to add in. 
All right, what's over here? So I've got pistoliers chasing after a group of orc boys. I like to have them just charge after units when they break. That way they don't come back and we can eliminate either all or most of their unit. Warfoot's band has lost three. They're at 31 kills. They're actually pretty strong. They've got a very high melee defense to compensate for their low armor. Great way to have a competent melee unit that is still very vulnerable to ranged attacks. Three man's at 39 kills. My wardens have seven of any left. They're at over 50 kills. I've still attacked a lot of them, but they're now breaking. You can see how few are left. These trolls are still around. Our leader has 138 for kills. Ogres are now moving around. We're just going to go chase after and hit everything. Nice work, crew. The Halfling campaign. Like, I don't get bored of their army comps at all. They're just a lot of fun. Oh, man, they're so good. I love it. Looks like we've won. It's all over. Let's get out of here. We got him. We beat him. I came over here to help out, and help I did. Goodbye. Battle at the Ancient Dragon Cave. Excuse me? Is that where we were fighting? Cool. Nice. Oh, man. Reichland's, like, really out there trying to fuck him up. Dude, they are persistent. I thought they only did that to me, but evidently they do it to the AI as well. Ah, oh, hell. Do we have walls? Come on, walls. Yeah, we got walls. All right, let's give it a go. I don't know if we can win. It's actually a pretty strong force. We might lose it. Yeah, we'll see. Here's a siege battle. Let's have a look at what's going to happen over here. A giant feral manticore. Now, I'm going to get my catapults to go hit that manticore. I've got two catapults right over here. Two over here on the left-hand side, right there. And I've got all of my infantry on the walls outside of my militia who are on the ground and my master cooks who will help out what they can. Now, what I did not notice is that they brought up a Saigor to go break down portions of my walls. I was wondering why they weren't using their stone attack, but now I know why. And I also didn't know that the Beastman Giant could also do that. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Gives them a, little, a nice little roll. So now they're just breaking two portions of my walls. And I've got my rangers close by. They've lost 15. They're going to lose a lot. But my range attacks are killing a lot of these special Beastman units. And again, I'm, I'm having all my... Hot pot catapults over here on this portion of the wall attack that wyvern. I remember back in the day for Warcraft 3 when I first saw the word for the first time, I called them a wyvern. Evidently, that's not correct. What did I call a paladin? It was like a paladin? I don't remember. Anyway, you don't hear those words spoken aloud. You're not sure how to pronounce them. And these were words introduced to me by Warcraft, like back in 2002. I'll say preteen, I think. It's not common terms that I was exposed to. Okay, so we've got a lot of beastmen who are moving onto the walls. I'm sure we might lose some of these battles, so I am getting some attacks to land on the walls right away. I'm using my catapults to do that. There could be some friendly fire, but if I end up hitting them, who cares? Now, Korok's Man Rippers, these guys are really strong. They've got, let's see, a special effect over here. Cav Bane, okay. Reduces their acceleration and their charge bonus. That Manticore killed how many? It's a giant barrel. Okay, so not just a barrel. It's a giant barrel. That's pretty cool. I like all the little variations. It's just cool to me. Adds a bit of uniqueness to things that would otherwise be mundane and redundant to use over and over. I'm in. Okay, Wardens are over here. They're fighting some units. We're holding on. I'll probably have to use... So if you hold down Alt when you select your artillery, you can select a position to attack in particular. Very handy, especially if the auto-targeting doesn't seem to be working out very well. All right, here comes another Manticore charge. Very high melee attack, too, by the way. And they have a chance for a flaming attack outside of their own venom, so that's pretty damaging. Press gang, the thieves are here. They can use their little bomb to debuff things. They're like dirty skulkers. I've killed a lot of Minotaurs. They're not doing very well. And again, they're about to break down my wall. Here we go. There goes a few halflings. In a weird way, that actually worked out for me because it's a great location for my catapults to strike through. Now they're working on the other wall. That was actually a decent performance by the AI when it came to the giant. When it comes to how they're spread out, maybe not the best, but either way, I was expecting them to hit me on choke points. Like, look at how many are over here now. My wardens are kind of all together. That's why we have to kind of move together and get some catapult attacks in. Because, I mean, they just have too many. Their numbers are way too high. 
160. Yeah, we don't have that many. They're about to break another portion of that wall. We've killed a lot of these Minotaurs. A lot of them. Here come some more of them. I'm moving in my Halfling Militia. That's why I held them in, in reserve. I do like in Grim Hammer that my lines hold long enough to where I can keep things in reserve. I don't have to like use everything at once trying to break my bow as quickly as possible. I can actually just kind of like linger around and do some cool stuff. Magical Oro. Was that always there? Did I not notice that? I think it was the feast. Yeah, the feast is coming. Yeah, they're great to have for that reason. Okay, so what are we doing over here? Catapult attacks. We've already broken them. And that was the whole point. Was to rip right through them. Friendly fire or not, we're getting a lot of them. Ooh, my poor wardens. They're like, shit, too much hot pot. Well, we broke that group. So now we just need to hit some more of them. Sorry, guys. Ouch. But I knew that would kill them quickly. So we got how many kills? Almost 100 on each. Yeah. 73, 74. And then over here, we have our catapults all striking at that breach. We've already killed a lot of Minotaurs. Here comes their leader. Pretty fucking cool looking. He's a Doom Bull. Wait, 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 wait. We can have God specific Doom Bulls? Oh shit. Maybe I do need to. Okay. Someone asked me on my Discord community in a channel called Ask Me Anything, where you can, you know, ask me stuff. And he was like, hey, are you going to do a Grim Hammer East Mid campaign? I said, eh, probably not likely. But if they have like that much new shit, maybe I should. Damn. Really, the issue is just the recolonization. So if I get like that mod, I can't remember what it does. It's like something that adds in ruins or settlements. I think the Nakai mechanic, while not complete in trying to help out horde factions, is a good middle ground. Because leaving behind a garrison at least gives you a staying presence. And you get to replenish too. I mean, that's my view. If we burn things down, there should be demons and nasty shit left behind. Otherwise, the Empire easily and quickly recolonizes, and then you just end up fighting so much over and over, and I hate that shit, so... Yeah, I might consider that if I ever do another Beastman campaign. I'm sure I will at some point. I haven't done Goros, and I would like to do another Torox one. I do enjoy Torox, the Brass Bull. All right, so we've broken a lot. I just have to reposition my artillery. I've been doing that a lot more, but the arcs on the Hot Pot Catapults are so fucking good. I wish more artillery had that. So now we're just going to get all of our artillery over here to go hit these Beastman Giants and the Saigor. I've got my Master Cooks in. There's going to be some friendly fire. Very unfortunate, but let's keep on fighting. I'm keeping my Halfling Militia in a guard stance. A Doom Bull is being surrounded by a bunch of Halflings. And I'm getting out of here alive, fucker! <laughs> Look at the balls on him! That's going to make a fine stew! There's a bunch of Halflings out there. I'm going to sell that for quite a profitable margin. Fifteen kills. He's not able to stop us, man. He's good at anti-large, which is very interesting as a mechanic, yeah. These two are getting just nailed by so much hot pot. They're about to just leave it. They're like, oh, fuck this shit. I'm out. You know what? Fuck you guys. I just wanted, oh, damn, in my face, in my gut. Y'all need to cut this out. This is bullshit, man. I'm leaving. And we've won the battle. It's all over. They're leaving. That was an awesome fight. Well, now, why don't we take gold? They may be back. That wasn't a challenging battle. That's why walls are great. You need walls whenever you can get them. Oh, that felt good. Okay, so we're actually having a great campaign. We are defeating enemies left and right. And maybe north and south as well. Maneuvers, huh? Interesting. 250 experience, my campaign movement will go down 20%, but that would be 250 experience for all my... Yeah, sure, train them. That should be fun. I like that a lot. Let's see, Samwise, what are you going to do here? We could just auto-resolve it. Did we lose it? Oh, thankfully we didn't lose anything. So, let's try... I could burn it down. I'm going to occupy it. It belongs to me now. Fuck you guys. All right, so I've got a new fort. We're gonna call it, oh, oh. Did I give it to them or did I, I have no idea. I think I kept it, okay. I always forget about that little thing that pops up. Well, not always, that was really my first time. The cooking pit, it'll be my new restaurant. There we go. Come on around, just ignore the dead bodies. We're still cleaning up. 
All right, I'm gonna go pick up some walls while I'm out here. Let's get rid of the landed estate. I'm not too worried about the money factor. I just want the yes, my lord. area for a nice little base of operations. All right, let's put a point over into the pendulum, which I have been using quite a bit. Done. Yeah, these two abilities up here to me are useless. Getting rid of campaign movement range is not worthwhile. If it was like global income, I'd say sure. You could like lessen the overall reward, but I'd much rather get something else to benefit my army or just something a little bit more interesting because I'm not going to have him local. You know, I haven't had him local in a long time. He's been traveling all over. Let's see. Shit sayer. Yeah, come on down, buddy. And that is done. We beat them. We'll take that bit of gold. We'll come back to Kappelberg. Rank 20. Even better immortality for you. I don't want you ever dying. You're not allowed to die. You will forever cook. Okay, what other armies do I have out there in the world? There's Snitch again with a very shitty army. I wonder why his army is so shitty. No idea. All right, come over here, Albert. You need Tree Ken. Tree men, Tree Ken? Yeah. That's what you need. Got a lot of catapults, so I just want you to have a lot of Tree Ken. Three. Oh, yeah, I could double that up. They would be out there forever. The big thing would be to use my catapults, and I think that would cause some issues, but... Let's try adding in some tree men for fun, for a bit of flavor and variety. Actually, hold on. We could just blow or recruit them. No, four turns still. Okay. Three. That one. Let's bring down Renard. Come on, Renard. Let's go, my friend. Peter. I don't like his name. We'll need a good name and backstory for him. I don't really have one, so I need one. Hopefully, a, a patron would want to name him. Okay, we can upgrade that to a city. Gotta make more money. Boris, I'm going to have you block another enemy force. Good job. You finally did it. All right. Level 22. I'm going to give you that retinue ability. It sounds good to me. And we're going to call it here for right now, folks. Leave a like and comment down below if you want to see more tomorrow. Again, our goal is to defeat Archeon. After that, we can live in relative peace. But we will be fighting the orcs and whoever. I'm not going to give up on that. I'm not going to ignore them. We will continue to fight. But our allies are doing so well. Partially, I think, because of us. Wood Elves are also a big threat. I think what we need, what I'm really looking at right over here, is probably a much bigger threat that could challenge the Wood Elves. Because right now, any evil faction over in the West over here just gets fucked. So I think they need more love. The Blood Dragons was a good start. But they're isolated. Yeah, I think we just need some more dominant threats. We don't have those out here. Norskins are annoying, but not a dominant threat. Oh, good. The AI is taking over. But yeah, leave a like, everyone. Look forward to more later. And until then, Appling out.